And I know lovely, lovely people. How are you doing? Anyway, in this tutorial, what we're simply going to do is to create a church invitation design, you know, because these days I see a lot of churches coming up with creative designs. And just in case we are stuck with what you have to create, you know, for next week, I think this flyer or this poster can help you, you know, just to give you some ideas. So in this tutorial, that's what we are going to be looking at. We'll be touching on everything you need to know when it comes to designing this. So make sure you subscribe for more Canva tutorials. And yes, without any further ado, let's jump straight into Canva and let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is to come to create a design and just choose a dimension, you know, four by five, which is 1080 by 1350. If you're not finding it, make sure to come to social media as we have over here. Okay. And you should see it. Once you click on it, it should, you know, open a fresh dimension like what we have over here. Okay. So for the first thing, let's come to color. Okay. So you choose the blank canvas, come to color, the color code we are going to use is FFFDF3. That's the color code I want you to use. Okay. Now let's come to element. In element, what we're simply going to look for is frames. Okay. So you can come to see all if you want to see, you know, all of the frames Canva has here, but we are just going to go for the first one. And frames is simply um, an image placeholder. Okay. So just arrange your frames your frame not your frames you know like this you know very easy and very simple then let's come back okay and i would just come here and search for crowd okay so you can just search for crowd and you should see a lot of you know images over here so i'll just come to see all and there are lots but you can choose any one you want so i'll just drag and drop this over here as you can see very easy and very simple now the other thing we want to do is i would just go into my simply um so recently used images and um i'll just you know search for this so and i'll just pick this image and to find this image all you have to search for is an african sorry a woman in an african print just smiling that's what you have to look for but once you search for african lady smiling you should find it so african lady smiling it should you know let's come to photos and it should be here you know i'm sure once you scroll down if we don't find it then that's up okay like i said this is it here we are we have it here all right so what we have to do now is to select the image and come to bg remover because we have a placeholder over here make sure you're not just dragging and dropping it in it else you know this is you know the african lady is going to replace the crowd image you have at the back take note of that okay so um let's just crop it like i'm doing over here just cropping it nicely and increasing the size and uh oh my gosh so i'll just position it somewhere here okay so once we have this what we are simply going to do now is to blend this i don't want it to come all the way to the bottom over here okay even though this is still cool but i want to just add some flair to it so you're just going to add another shape over here come to color and for the color just choose the same color we have for the background okay then come to add a new color in fact let me zoom in so you can pay attention to this aspect then come to gradient with a gradient you can just come to <coughs> with a gradient we can just come to color picker and just choose the same color okay let's choose the same color then come to transparency and make it transparent and this is what we should have at the moment okay so just rotate it to, to keep it negative 90 and we can just place it over here so I'll increase the size and keep this shot you can see it's still showing over here so we'll just make a number of duplicates i think we made a mistake somewhere so this is not looking too transparent in me you know with the second color so let's come back in here and i'll just move this to white so yeah so that is better i like this so duplicate i'll select the two of them and duplicate them more so you can see how we've blended everything beautifully wow so I'll increase this one more just so we can you know i just like this image i don't know why but the smile is just so beautiful now what i want you to do is to add a second image okay so with this image just search for woman giving talk 
or you can just search for public speaker you should find it or you know speaker you should find it okay so this is what we have at the moment i will crop it and also remove the background by using the remove bg okay so this is what we also have let me just move this here a little bit and increase the size more nice we can also increase the size of this and just keep it to the center you know it should at least match the edge of the crowd photos we have at the back all right nice so before we do any extra stuff over here i want us to add our text so press t on the keyboard move the text here let's change the text to league gothic okay that's what i have over here so league gothic and i'll basically increase the size and we'll just say worship so let's keep it all caps so we come to uppercase and say worship a nice one then we'll increase the size more okay and let's keep this here make it italic select these two images and just move them just a little bit okay so italic just so we can have uh, stuff going on here so worship with us this sunday so i will duplicate this now see with us this okay so worship with us now just reduce the size move it to the top over here duplicate this place it here and just say sunday alrighty <laughs> okay so we just put this also over here you can see what we have it's just beautiful so you can just move it to the top a little bit now let's add two shapes that's going to take the date and the time okay so you can press r on the keyboard just to add it and just you know make it small something like this then we can you know change the color and we can just add some corner roundings so something like this should be should be cool okay so we are just in fact let me zoom in more and let's reduce the size i think the rounding the corner round is too much okay then we would add our text so the text i want to use another text which is poppins i'll make it bold and i'll just say 30th of july so today's date is 3rd june so let me just say um 3rd june okay so we'll keep this here move it to the top and we'll just say 2025 okay and we'll just make both text white so this is what we have at the moment and this is what we have over here as well you get it so instead i think the third june uh maybe let's just do zero three yeah so it's easy to maintain una maintain <laughs> okay so this is nice so just arrange it any way you think best okay just because we are just trying to be creative over here and um yeah and so we are up to something actually now let's try to duplicate you know the shape bring it over here I, I think this is centered okay now i feel it's centered we can duplicate this and also place it here okay and we can see morning service i don't know what i'm spelling service okay so service can be here we can just make it one long text and reduce the size okay so morning service we can see it starts at maybe 10 a.m okay so i think it's, it's very important we put the 10 a.m so you don't have people saying that ah, as i thought it was 10 a.m i thought it was you know an evening service you know because people can come in the evening so since this is like this we may just also have to apply the same over here and i think it works it works i think this works but we'll just bring this in front so just in case you don't know how to do that quickly I click on it come to layer come to bring to front okay and you should have that now with this text i'm just also going to change the color to any color that i feel works this one works this one also works but i think we'll just keep it deep yeah yeah it works it works so we'll just keep it like this and i i would want to rotate you know just rotate it so just rotate it nicely like this and that's about it okay now let's come back over here and let's search for squiggle s q u i g g l e okay so squiggle you should see a lot a lot of you know squiggles so let's come into graphics and choose any of them now i have this i will just change the color to yellow since i feel yeah it blends because of the ladies outfits okay 
and I'll just send it to the back. Then now we should be able to add some blur. Okay, so add some blur, increase the intensity slightly. All right, and this is what we have at the moment. Now, last but not the least, okay, we just want to add some light leak. Okay, so last but not the least, I want us to add some gradient. Okay, so we have some um, gradient booker lights. Okay, so this is what we have and we can just make it bigger. I think this is very beautiful. Okay, so before I just let you go, I just want us to do one last thing. Let's move this to the side a little bit and let's just add some touches to this image. So we can you know, just make it a bit vibrant. We'll would come to the color, just make it vibrance and you know, increase the saturation a little bit. I think this went in too much. And the clarity, just also add some clarity. Okay. The white is okay. I, I think so far is okay. So this is fine. So we can just right click. Okay. Copy star and paste it. So it applies to this. And we can just bring our bokeh light back. And this is what we have at the moment. Let me know what you think about this. You can also add your location and the, the pastor's name. There's so much you can do. but I just want to be able to show you the basics of, you know, how you can just even build this from scratch. And I just hope you found it helpful. Let me know which other tutorial you would want me to cover in the comment section below. The name is Benjamin. Always remember, there is no limit to creativity and I should see you in my next video. Peace.